Moving on to our next example for the change of variable strategy for solving limits. We got the limit as x approaches 1 of the 6th root of x minus 1 all over the 3rd root of x minus 1. Now I'm going to follow the same steps that I followed in the overview video. If you haven't gone over the overview video, I would suggest you do so before going over this example because in that video I go over these four steps in a lot more detail. I'm going to explain them in this video as well, but not as in depth. So make sure you watch that video first before continuing on with this one. Now the first step in solving this limit is recognizing that we have to use the change of variable strategy. Because as I've been mentioning, sometimes students get confused with using the change of variable strategy or the rationalization strategy. Rationalization we only use with regular square roots. While in this question, we have the sixth root and the third root. So it's obvious that we're going to be dealing with the change of variable strategy. So the first step is we have to take all the radicals in our limit and change them into rational exponents. So this sixth root of x, I changed into x to the power of 1 over 6. And then this third root of x, I changed into x to the power of 1 over 3. Now, sometimes questions or limits will be given with rational exponents exponents straight away, great, that makes our life easier, we can skip step one, but if not, if they give them to you in radicals, you have to change them into rational exponents. The next step is we have to introduce a new variable. So the new variable we're introducing is u, and we let u equal to x to the power of the lowest exponent. Well, the exponents in the question are 1 over 3 and 1 over 6. Which one is the lowest of those two? Well, it's the 1 over 6, so we let u equal to x to the power of 1 over 6. So with that new expression, we have a expression for x to the power of 1 over 6, and we can move to step 3. We have to change all the other old variables x in the limit into the new variable u. So let's start off with this x to the power of 1 over 3. Let's get an expression for that. Well, to do that, let's rewrite our original expression. So u equals x to the power of 1 over 6. Now, how can we take this x to the power of 1 over 6 and change it to x to the power of 1 over 3? Well, notice that we can take it to the power of 2. Because if we take 1 over 6 and multiply it by 2, we'll get 2 over 6, and 2 over 6 simplifies to 1 over 3. Now since we took that right side to the power of 2, we also have to take the left side to the power of 2. So then we'd have u to the power of 2 equals x to the power of 2 over 6, and as I mentioned, 2 over 6 simplifies to 1 over 3. So now we have an expression for x to the power of 1 over 3, and that's just u to the power of 2. And what's remaining to deal with is this expression here, as x approaches 1. So as x approaches 1, we have to find an equivalent expression as u approaches a certain value. And we can find that with our original expression when we introduce u. So u equals x to the power of 1 over 6. So if x is equal to 1, then we know u is equal to 1 to the power of 1 over 6, and the sixth root of 1 is just 1. So we know that as x approaches 1, that's equivalent to u approaching 1 as well. And now notice how we took all the variables x in the limit, and we have expressions now for those variables in terms of u. So this expression as x goes to 1, we have as u goes to 1, x to the power of 1 over 3, we have u squared, and then x to the power of 1 over 6, we have u. So then writing out that new limit, we got the limit as u goes to 1 of u minus 1 all over u squared minus 1. And notice how this new limit here is all in terms of the new variable u. We change the variable from x to u, and this new limit is a lot nicer to work with than the one we were originally given. And the value of this limit is going to be equivalent to the value of this limit. And then notice how we can factor that denominator, that's a difference of squares, so that equals u minus 1 times u plus 1. 
the u minus ones will cancel out so we're left with the limit as u goes to one of one over u plus one and now we can just sub in that value of one for u and we end up with one over two so that there one over two is our final answer for this limit now a quick final point i want to make it's a minor point but uh, something probably worth mentioning is that notice when we did the factoring for this new limit we did a difference of squares and usually in previous examples we've been doing difference of cubes or sum of cubes and as i mentioned when you're dealing with the change of variable strategy usually the majority of the time you're going to be factoring a sum of cubes or a difference of cubes however in this particular example you didn't have to it was a difference of squares so just recognize that it's not a big deal but uh yeah, just be aware of it. Uh, either way though, the factoring was smooth and you end up getting that final answer of a half. So that is the final answer for that original limit that we got. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.